Oh, this is the spot. I saw this when I was scouting a few weeks ago and I thought to myself, there's never been a more perfect place for a mock scrape. And I have a box blind about 110 yards set against the far side of this field. So the bucks are typically gonna circle and work their way downwind of the scrape and then come up into it. So you want your scrape set slightly upwind of your hunting position. All the elements come together to tell me to put a mock scrape right there. Let's see where we exactly wanna sight this thing. You'll notice I'm wearing rubber boots. I'm wearing gloves. I want this to be as scent free as an environment as possible. That's absolutely critical. I'm gonna get some of this material out of the way and I'm gonna hang a scent dripper maybe right in this area. So that scent's gonna be dripping right down into here. So I'm gonna start my mock scrape right here. I'm gonna clear out a circle or an oval actually, maybe three or four feet in diameter. Make a nice round area. You can just imagine that buck just standing here and just pawing this ground. He's in the rut, he's looking for love, he's getting serious about making him a scrape. That looks pretty good. That looks, looks real good. So when the bucks come in, they're gonna hook these branches. Now you can hook your branch with, with your hoe, with your trowel, whatever. I, I actually had a set of antlers at the house, so I might as well just use the real thing. And just imagine that buck coming in here and scraping down. And I'm thinking, who knows, maybe by using this antler, I'm putting a little antler smell on here that's gonna make a difference. So I've got these branches kind of broken off. The next step is going to be to hang a scent dripper. A scent dripper is going to drop a few drops of scent into this mock scrape during the daytime hours. We've got a, oh man, this is not what you give your wife for Valentine's Day, I'm telling you that for sure. We're going to put about four ounces, no more than four ounces of scrape scent into the scrape dripper. Cap it off. There's two reasons why you want to wear gloves doing this because you don't want this stuff on your hands. Now, directly above the mock scrape, I'm going to reach up here and tie this thing up about as high as I can reach. The way a mock scrape dripper works is, is it heats up. This bottle will heat up and that heated air will push scent down and up and around this tube and drip it out right in the middle of our mock scrape. But now I've got footprints all in here. So I'm gonna grab my hoe. I'm gonna buckerize this mock scrape again. Get rid of any human footprints. Man, perfect, perfect shot from that box blind. I'm excited about this mock scrape. Give this a few days, sun comes up, I'm gonna be sitting right there. That right there is venison, boys. 